Hello, welcome back to my lavender pages. This is Brie and I have a few things to share and work on and I wanted to share it with you. So, a um, couple quick things. Wonderland 222 is the company that I adore for my notebooks and they had a giveaway on Instagram for their 2022 weekly planner and I thought you know what I'm not gonna win but it might be fun to just try and I got one they gave away 12 and this is what it is I have it in a Lauren Phelps design floral vinyl cover and I bought this vinyl cover for the daily notebook that I got for my birthday which is this one that I will probably start in March of 2022 and it didn't fit and I had to cut the back cover to get it to fit and that was really frustrating for me so I you know kind of looked at it and this one is a lot thinner than the daily notebook and I'm like you know what let me try it out and see if it fits and sure enough it fits and I love the way it looks I'm not really a pink or a peach kind of person but this is kind of pretty and I'm falling in love with it and it came in this really cool metallic magenta envelope which I pulled the stickers off I still need to pull a little bit more off and I'm gonna save it and probably store like a notebook that I've already used or something like that inside it and just use it as storage because it's so cool. I just think it's such a cool envelope. Anyway, so this planner, I have, since I, I got it, I want to use it. You know, I really want to use it. So let me show you kind of what it looks like. This is the card that came with the cover and it's so pretty and look, it matches. Imagine that. So I'm keeping that right up here. Um, this vinyl cover has pockets, little card pockets in the front and then in the back. And this is my Coffee Monsters Co. winter card. Um, it's my second bean card that I've gotten and I haven't put the beans on it yet. So I'm going to keep it right here. I've already started my key with the monthly colors and I kind of back filled November a little bit and then I'm you then it's it's got an index it's got one two three pages for an index and the page is divided in half it has a four-year calendar and I think I might track so in this book I have been tracking my cycle um, with the moon phases right here. And I think I might, I, you know, kind of track if I'm emotional, if I have anxiety, if I'm on my cycle, or if I have a migraine. I think I might move that to this for 2022. And I may transfer what I have up here to 2021 and have it for 2022 as well. Still on the fence about that, not quite sure. Then it has this yearly calendar and I'm thinking I may move my steps to this because right now I am tracking my steps with this and I do an estimate based on the thousands and just put a dot down and I may change that to here so that I can actually see, see the numbers. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for this. And then it has, and I'm going to fold this page kind of in half, but it has a quarterly calendar. And I have chosen to use this for my future planning. So I have my color key right here. And I've been using the same colors for my dots. And then on Let's show you blank one on this side it has a blank page so then I put a dot and write out what's going on sometimes I write the date in the dot let me see if I can pull 
fold this just enough so that, okay, right here. So I put the dot with the date over it and then the event next to it. So like I have when my kids are out of school and I have birthdays and holidays, things like that. So I'm using this as a future log and it has all four quarters and then it has this really cool tracker and in my bullet journal my trackers used to look like this but now because I fell in love with the way this looked they look like this so I may continue to use this to track my personal habits that I have so cook at home go outside be intimate with my husband, be active, my daily chore, if I've done laundry for that day, if I've done dishes for that day, vacuum, kids homework, and play with the dog outside is what I'm tracking for December. I love the way this looks. So I'm gonna keep doing it in this book, but here I'm gonna track my monthly and weekly cleaning. So like bathroom, mopping my kitchen, vacuuming my upstairs, vacuuming my downstairs, um, moving everything off of my kitchen counters and deep cleaning my kitchen counters, dusting, vacuuming my vents, vacuuming my couches because I have small kids and they love popcorn and popcorn sometimes gets stuck in the couches, changing the sheets, washing my window sills, washing my windows and menu planning. And then I have room for more. I'm still kind of trying to think of what else to do, but I think I'm going to track my house stuff here. Um, and if you can't tell by now, a lot of this is mom life. So like my kids bell schedule, my kids holidays in school and stuff like that. So I'm kind of going to use this weekly planner to keep track of my house and my family. Um, I went back through and did my November calendar with a very little embellishment, just my colors. And then it has these weekly pages and I used to do weekly pages in this book, but I never looked at them. So I stopped doing them and stopped spending the time to set them up. Well, this book has them all set up for me. And I'm like, hmm, okay, this looks fun. So I went back in, it's got these two fantastic bookmarks. I miss the bookmarks in this book, but I went in and planned December for what's going on. The kids are doing a countdown to Christmas with school. So they have different things that they're wearing each day. And then I accidentally put the green dots here. So this is Christmas break. This is Christmas break, but I didn't put any stickers on it. So if you compare it to this one, this one is a whole lot more pretty. And this one is very simple. So I'm going to use this one to kind of track nearly the same things. But on this one, I also put things like I got a new planner today and for my November calendar, this is October. For my November calendar, I kind of put an event for the day. Like I went on a walk, I had a day off, I'm kind of feeling worried. Um, I wasn't feeling good this day. I cleaned the carpets on the 11th, met with a school counselor on the 18th, a do nothing day, my husband got sick. So yay, no overtime. That kind of a thing will continue to be tracked here. This calendar will just have the events. That's it. Um, I also went over here and did my index and I'm going to do the same thing right here. So if I want to kind of look at this and go, okay, what happened this day, this day, this day, then I can go look at it here and then pull it up in my journal because I still document every day. And then I planned for the current week of what's going on. And again, no stickers, just a little bit of washi tape and 
colors. That's how this is going to stay. I may end up putting this in a traveler's notebook. I don't know yet because I really like the way this looks. But this is going to be kind of my on the go, put it in my bag. I carry this one too, by the way, in my bag. But on the go, pull it out, record what's going on um, in a simple, plain way. And then this will be my go to town, decorate, use the washi, use the stickers, mostly f for me to enjoy here. Okay. That's the plan. Um, this book will probably last me through. I went, I went in and like, I'm going to put this over here so that it kind of. I went in and checked, and I think I am good until March. Yeah, so this would have been March 7th, and there are not enough days left to do the whole month of March. Like, I went through and counted it out, and there's not enough. So, I need to go through and double check seven. Hold on. So this would be March 26th. There's not enough. I will probably use this book through February and then move into this one and finish 2022 with this combo. I don't know and and this book will be in a traveler's notebook and this will stay the way it is. I do have my purple purple foxy fix folio right here and this would be a pretty combination and I could easily put this in here but then what do I do with this book right here and I may make a cover for it I may not I have these tabs that I received for my birthday for Wonderland 222 and I may put it in this book because this book will have the whole year in it and the black one will not. I haven't decided yet. This would make life a whole lot easier to flip to on that, on the weekly book. But I still need to figure out what I want to do with this. Do I put it in just a clear cover like this one? Or do I make a cover for it? Because I made this and it holds my quotes that I collect and put in my notebooks and so I could make another cover like this and put my reusable sticker book in it. It's a thought I am still considering. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm still, this is a development my friends, a development that I'm still trying to figure out. But I wanted to kind of share with you my plans for 2022. I am staying in this book through February, and then I'll switch out the daily notebook. But I am adding the Wonderland 222 Weekly Planner to my setup for 2022. And I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be fun to set up a weekly with nothing, I want to say froofy, but that's not the right word, with no deco and no embellishment beyond some simple washi tape and pens. So it'll be fun to see how fat this thing gets. It probably won't get very chunky because I'm not going to do a whole lot with it. There are daily pages in the back. I am thinking I may use them for collections as well as notes that I take during Sunday worship 
and stuff like that. But if I do that, then it's no longer just a family book. So again, work in progress, still figuring out, want to find a use for these probably will be collections. That way, um, the collections I have back here are things like the grid spacing and my colors and wish lists and doctor visits and dancing with the stars, things like that. So I may move these collections into this book and keep this as strictly my journal. So there you go. There's the update. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see more planning videos. Hopefully this kind of explains my thought process for the next year. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below. I will quickly answer them as fast as possible. Also, I'd love to know what you guys are doing for 2022. Are you doing a bullet journal? Are you doing a planner that's already set up? Or are you doing something completely different? Anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are up to. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.